pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to ESPN The Nuevo, the channel that airs the sports that aren't ready for the ESPN The Ocho. I'm Evan Anun Poverotico. And I'm Allie Davis Swan. Today, we're here at Windsor High School for the finals of the Stare Down competition. It's been a wild ride so far with many strong competitors falling out of the competition early on. Let's take a look at some of the top competitors that just didn't make it to the finals. Randy Green. Wow, I believe that's the stare he gives when, he when a kid asks for extra credit on the last day of the semester. Lisa Hans. Probably the look you get when you forget the lines during the dress rehearsal of the school musical. Chris Miller. I've got that look before when I asked to go to the bathroom two minutes into a class after I was just in the hallway. George Van Dyke. That's probably the look he gives to a kid right before he beams him with a dodgeball or a pistachio. Speaking of dodgeball, don't forget ESPN Ocho is airing the 1979 Dodgeball Championships at 7 p.m. That should be exciting. On to the finals, we have two strong competitors that have really stepped up their game. In one corner, we have Joanne Marty. And in the other corner, we have John Leach. They will demonstrate their three best stares that they use to tell students that they're not happy with them. Let's go to the action. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been... Please vote for either Joanne Marty or John Leach to win the Windsor Stare Down competition. This was ESPN the Nueve. Goodbye. Good morning, Windsor High School. Today we have a high of 42 and a low of 22, and it's not going to rain a lot, which is ironic because it's National Umbrella Day. Now, awesome with the athletics. Park State girls basketball lost a hard-fought game last night against Festus, 50 to 43. Reagan Daly had 14 points. Congratulations to Alexis Cox, Jasmine Casey, and Olivia Plessens. They qualified for the DECA State competition in Kansas City. Alexis Cox placed fourth in the food marketing event. Jasmine and Olivia placed fourth in travel and tourism team event. Good luck at State. <clears throat> we wanted to give everyone a heads up that Racks Week is right around the corner, February 13th and February 17th. Suco will be hosting different activities during Owl Time to promote kindness within our school. Stuco decided to go with the 50s theme, so don't be a wet blanket and join in on the fun. It'll be a week of cooking with gas. Can you dig it? Monday will be 50s day. Grease is the word. Tuesday is Beach Boys Day, Surfing USA. Wednesday is Jukebox Hero. Wear your favorite band tee. Thursday is Sock Hop Color Pop. There's an assembly at 120. And then uh, seniors, dress is purple. Juniors are blue. Sophomores are pink. Freshmen are green. Staff is yellow. And Friday is Happy Days, No School for the Students. Have you been waiting to review yourself to your crush? Valentine's Day is right is the perfect time. Buy a crush soda for your crush during Owl Time for only one dollar. Stuco will be selling them all next week. It'll be delivered with your personal message on Valentine's Day. Now, back to Austin. Girls wrestling districts today and tomorrow at St. Clair High School. Uh, pop out tonight at home against Festus, 4, 5, 30, and 7 p.m. Jersey theme. Better be there. Mason with the menu. I'm here on Dress as Your Type Day, and I'm here with Mr. Andrews. And I, even though I don't agree with the type, it's not, you know, it's not the most professional, but MLA wouldn't accept, but I accept it, I guess. So, why would you dress as this? Well, I myself am a Comic Sans defender. I understand. <laughs> it actually has a lot of uses. For example, it's a dyslexic friendly font, um, and it's also used for. Um, a lot of children because it's very easy to read and so I recognize uh, its values and I want to uh, showcase that uh, throughout my uh, outfit. I'm here, it's just as your type day. I'm here with Amelia and Jameson. Alright, take it away. Um, 
Yeah. All right, I'm Evan Borrago, and I'm here with Maddie Patrick. All right, so what's what's your type? Gym rats. Hmm. Why? Why is there a specific reason for that? Nah, I like buff people, man. You like them big boys? I do. You know big boys. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. It's Allie here on Just as Your Type Day. I'm here with Sydney Whipple. All right, Sydney, what is your type? Um, I'm just with my boyfriend, Luke Patterson. He's a wrestler, so I got his wrestling warm up on. And yeah. do you have anything to say to Luke? Um, I like your style. It looks good on me. Luke Patterson, buy this girl a crush for Valentine's Day. It's only a dollar, and she deserves a lot more than that. Stuco is selling crushed sodas to give to your crush all week for a dollar during Valentine's Day. Check it out. Ian Baker. Uh, and? Madison Crush. Alright, Ian, uh, I'm assuming you're dressed as Jane? Uh, yes, my girlfriend is in the army. Ah, very nice, very nice. Thank you. What, what, uh, I'm curious, what, is, what inspired this bit? Tax evasion. Ooh, you like Ozark? Yep. Alright, thank you. Remember Windsor to inspire, achieve, and succeed.